that's available to, to give uh, everybody uh, an insight for the next sort of 20 minutes, just a presentation on behalf of NatWest, um, giving you an insight to the support that we offer our uh, entrepreneurs and customers that or non-customers of the bank can interact with us. Uh, for many years, NatWest has been working alongside with many organisations uh, across our business communities um, around the whole of the UK, uh, supporting business owners, no matter what stages that they're at, whether they're at very early stage or whether they're looking to grow and scale uh, their businesses. A lot of the work that we do uh, is by running workshops, by running uh, networking events and also some one to one consultations. On the screen, um, just gives you a little bit of an insight into my role uh, as a local enterprise manager. Uh, it is there to support people within our communities, helping them run, start uh, and grow their businesses, whether they are at early stage, whether they're at established stage, whether they're looking to grow or diversify. Uh, we do offer our one to one consultations. Uh, we run our events locally, we run our networking events locally. So I'm the local enterprise manager specifically for North London, but we do have 29 local enterprise managers across the whole of the UK. So no matter where you are situated, a local enterprise manager will be very close to you. Local enterprise managers like myself are very much super connected. Um, we work with our local external partners such as chambers of commerces, growth hubs, um, professional organisations, uh, educational sector, uh, there to name a few. And the idea is just being able to connect you in with the right people at the right time. So do take um, details off the screen. Um, I have got a QR code on the screen also for LinkedIn. Uh, so do feel free if you feel that you would like to connect with us, um, please do so. Uh, just to also highlight on there is that we all our local enterprise managers at our are accredited by the Institute of Enterprise and Entrepreneurs, known as the IOEE, which was founded back in 2010. Uh, it was the UK's first dedicated professional learning institute specialising in enterprise and, and business support. So all the enterprise managers are accredited at NatWest. So really, how can we help you? Um, and the first point of contact I would always say to anyone that I come into contact with is do take some time and have a look at the NatWest Entrepreneur Hub, which is on our website. And uh, you can find that by either doing a search in the search engine NatWest Entrepreneur Hub or using www.natwest.com forward slash business forward slash enterprise. I would suggest that. Um, uh, bookmark that page uh, it's an opportunity for you to go back into and have a look at all the ranges of programs that NatWest offers uh, very much some helpful tools in there plus you can certainly tap into uh, a network of specialists and also some like-minded peers as well that really can help your businesses and offer you guidance as you grow just to run through a few of those on there, just to give you a bit of an insight. So sort of certainly tapping into like the running of the business portal, it really just gives you a bit of an insight into helping you with cash flow forecasting, gives you help with um, business management, sort of how you take payments, really about how you employ your staff, giving you that everyday demands for running a business. Scaling a business is very much around giving you the support uh, to take your business to the next level. Um, and that will lead on to a very short presentation in a few moments about our NatWest Accelerator program, because scaling the business is really helping you grow that business to the next level. Uh, training and tools, really good uh, for the idea phase business. So if you're looking at starting a business or you're looking at sort of growing it, Business Builder really gives you access to so much practical resources. Um, you can find Business Builder at www.natwest.com forward slash business forward slash insights forward slash business builder. Business Builder will contain so many different learning modules. Um, and some of the insights that I've loaded up on the screen are currently within the hub. And they will range from a variety of different topics, um, different modules, different um, sizes of modules. And they will range from various different topics, such as business growth, development, 
how you look at mindset, really understanding financial management. Um, fit it within your day. It's, it's flexible for you to go on to, um, and it's a mix of reading videos and workbooks that you can utilize. The final parts on there, the experts and mentors, the mentoring and the support that the bank offers for small businesses. We've, we've partnered with an organization called Digital Boost. It's a very smart platform allowing you to connect with uh, volunteer businesses, uh, professionals for free one-to-one, -one, uh, small mentoring and personalized business support. So a great portal, if you're looking at connecting in with someone that is a marketing expert or a finance expert or a legal expert, that's to say a few, there's uh, three and a half thousand plus mentors that have signed up to that platform. So do check out the experts and mentors portal and do look at the digital boost um, platform. There's also um, some great insights in there to give you some inspiration, to give you some practical tips to help you thrive and grow within your business. And the final one is around sustainability. So no matter where you are, if you're on your, if you're on a, a journey to reach your climate ambitions, we do have a, a, some ranges of sources and resources and solutions and resources, sorry, to really help you with your funding, your climate goals or giving you advice in how to reduce your energy costs and much more. There's a free tool on there called Carbon Planner. And Carbon Planner is really um, a tool to help you become much more sustainable uh, and give you that climate conscious organization, really helping you to reduce your costs, but also um, save on your carbon emissions too. It asks you a few questions, you can sign up to the tool but you can start building a plan really to reduce your carbon emissions. So the accelerator, which is the scale up part of the business, which is something that I support businesses in my local community, if they're looking at growing and scaling to the next level, the NatWest accelerator is absolutely perfect for them. We're at the right time at the moment because our accelerator window is now open. Uh, it opens and closes on the 16th of February. So still um, to just over a couple of weeks to go before our window closes. Um, it's available for anyone to apply um, for. Uh, so you don't need to be a NatWest customer. It is free. It is fully funded. So there is no equity taken out of your business. To give you a little bit of an insight to this, um, I'll go through a, an overview of what the program can actually offer. Um, so the program is six months. It starts in March and it runs till September. Our next cohort starts in September uh, 2024 and it will run till March 2025. So it's a six month program. However, it can offer up to 18 months of support if you were a NatWest Banked business customer or you decided to become a NatWest Banked business customer at any stage whilst you're on your first six months. You can either then complete an 18 month program back to back or you can decide to do six months, take a break, come back, do another six months, reassess, take a break, come back and do another six months. It's entirely up to you, but you do get up to 18 months of support if you are a NatWest Banked customer. It's an award winning program, so it has been endorsed by the Scale Up Institute and Bohurst has been the top UK accelerator in the UK for scale and growth. And we are looking for businesses either with some traction or have secured some investment across all different sectors. So we don't have any specific sector that we, we, we work with. We've worked with um, prop tech, uh, med tech, uh, fintech, technology businesses, construction. Um, we've even had uh, uh, doggy daycare walking uh, businesses on the program. Uh, hospitality, you name all the industries, we've had them on the programme. So we're not um, specifically looking at one specific industry. There are four key pillars of support that we offer through the NatWest Accelerator programme. Uh, those pillars are coaching, their community, their network, and actually thought leadership. So the coaching side, um, we give you access to uh, a one-to-one 
dedicated entrepreneurial acceleration manager. And they've worked with thousands of business owners, really getting them to think slightly differently within their business, getting them to push themselves out of their comfort zones and supporting and challenging them as leaders. The coaching side is that we uh, connect you with your entrepreneur acceleration manager. You'll meet at least once a month for a check-in um, and they will be focusing specifically on accelerating your business, working through those blockers, working through things that are holding you back and really thinking about how you can grow and scale your business. So the entrepreneur acceleration managers will be male or female, and it's very much around that challenging you, challenging your actions, challenging your behaviors, getting you to think differently, getting you out of your comfort zone. So the key things. The question that a lot of people ask is, why do we focus on you as the leader of the business rather than purely on the business? And really, the, the reason we do it is because we recognize that business owners are the heart of the business. They are the key influencer of the business and sometimes can be the biggest risk. And that's why we use this coaching technique to really help you and the business challenge you, support you and accelerate your business throughout that six month journey. So they are the key things. The coaching also has an element of one-to-one -one, uh, as well as one-to-many group coaching. And we recognize the importance of community collaboration throughout the six months. So what we ask is we, we, we put the businesses into small groups. We ask them to come along. We, we ask them to bring a challenge or their goal that they have. And we use a model called Grow Model. Uh, so it's bring your goal, bring your challenge to, to, to your community session and talk about where you are currently, what reality you're at at the moment, which is the R. And then your community will help you and support you on your options that you could consider, which is the O. And the W is the way forward, talking about a model of how you can go from today, where, what direction can you go in? So it's really um, a great piece of community and collaboration. We find a lot of our businesses that are on our program find this really, really useful and supportive. The second pillar of support is community and community is um, linked across the whole in the UK. So we have um, 12 physical accelerator spaces across the UK. So for those that are very close to London, situated in London, our accelerator in London is in Bishopsgate. It's opposite Liverpool Street Station. It's 214 Bishopsgate. It's in an Atwas building couple of floors and um, we allocate co-working space in there along with all the other accelerators across the UK so it gives you an opportunity to have some office space access to wi-fi access to presentation of spaces as well also they have little kitchens in there where you can have your teas and coffees and bring in bring your food use microwaves and things like that in there but it's very much connected in with the community because the community is very much central to you because we want to make sure that throughout the six months on the program, you've got the right people all around you, not only your community, but the local teams and like-minded business owners like yourself. So we give access to very different things like tailor-made virtual workshops, um, acceleration sessions, networking sessions. I must um, sort of say to you that you don't have to have a face-to-face -face accelerator. We do offer a virtual accelerator as well. So depending on where we are located, if it is London, yeah, there is a face-to-face -face on the doorstep. But for example, some business owners that we do talk to are on the east side of the country and your local uh, accelerator can be quite a bit of a distance. So we do offer virtual. So if virtual is a lot more easier for you, you can opt for, opt for a virtual accelerator or if you prefer that face-to-face -face element, you can opt for a face-to-face -face accelerator. We do connect you in there with our national partners and our local experts, uh, and they do offer like drop-in sessions and in-person support as well. And we'll clarify who those national partners are in a few moments. And then it's about connecting in with those community of like-minded entrepreneurs. 
So we do run those community group sessions, as I mentioned a few moments ago, and this is really to give you that sort of connecting piece, but to really get to know your local community and build those long lasting connections. We do encourage the business owners to set up their own events as well and community sessions throughout the six months. And that's really, really important to make sure that everyone is remaining connected. Your community also links into various different things like peer to peer community and program of events. So we ask our accelerator entrepreneurs that come onto the program that they are the community, they are the network, and we encourage them to set up their own sort of networking events, their own workshops. Um, and we, we get the entrepreneurs to deliver that to their community. They are the experts in their field and we encourage them to do that throughout the six months. We give access to the regional ecosystem manager. His name is Luke. He's responsible for supporting not only the accelerator program, but responsible for supporting local stakeholders, managing stakeholders, inviting them to some of the interactions that we do with the six months program as well. We also have local enterprise managers like myself, as I introduce you to that role at the very beginning of this short presentation. And then our local mentors. So we've got mentors from all different backgrounds and they're there to support businesses throughout the whole of the six months um, program. The network is the third pillar of support. Um, and the third pillar of support is very much around, we recognize that businesses need a strong network to grow. So we can introduce people to the right, uh, the, the right people at the right time for your business. And we have an extensive list of mentors and partner networks that can really give you the right insights and skills to overcome any business challenge that, that you might have. So you've got access to the bank's network, thousands of um, sort of staff members, there's millions of customers within that, um, in that setup. The network is huge, whether business wants to get sort of help with their HR support or whether they need to be connected into a larger buyer or a larger retailer, then we can actually do that for them. National partners, um, we are supported by a number of national partners um, and they do include organisations like Pinsent Masons that look after law, um, Dell Technologies that looks after uh, technology, and also we have free agent, which is cloud accounting software. Our free agent is owned by NatWest Group. Um, and every single business customer that banks with us does get access to free agent, not only for a short period of time, it's for life. So they have free agent completely free at no cost. And free agent are one of the national partners on the program. We do offer PR opportunities as well. So we have our own internal uh, regional and national PR teams, and they're constantly asking us for great news uh, that we can share. So any sort of good news that you've got within your organization, we encourage you to discuss that with your entrepreneur acceleration manager, because if there is an opportunity, we want to get that shouted out. And then finally, we do round tables. So we've had various different ranges from government officials come in, Kishtama from, from Labour, that have sat down with entrepreneurs. We've done um, business show events with Stephen Bartlett and Gary V more recently. So we do try and get big, um, uh, high profile individuals involved in supporting you. The last thing from me today is the thought leadership. And this is around um, various different structure of program events that are available to you throughout your whole six months. We've worked very closely with the Scale Up Institute um, who have looked at barriers that are facing businesses when they're looking at growing and scaling. And we do then put on those workshops to support them throughout those six months. And these are facilitated by the NatWest team and they'll focus on support to help business leaders, whether it's overcoming barriers or you wanted to look at scale, how to scale the business. We will put on different topics and different events like that. The community events are run by the community. So we encourage you to um, uh, sort of bring in your own presentation, speak and, and talk to your own acceleration manager. 
um, of what you might want to bring to the table. Group acceleration is very much around um, what we discussed earlier, um, bring your challenge uh, and get the audience to support you. And then our opportunity events as well. And these are events that we put on that are designed to support not only you, but also your team throughout the, um, your six months journey. So what do we expect from anyone that does apply? Because we've talked so much about the coaching side, the network, the events, um, but what's the price to pay for all this? There is absolutely no cost, as I said, it is fully funded, but this is an accelerator program. So there are things that we do expect from businesses that do apply. We want them to be very engaged. So we want the program, we want you to get the best out of the program. So we want you to be connected as, as much as the time as possible. We want you to get involved. We want you to collaborate with others. We want you to use it for your own questioning to support and challenge yourself and others as well. We want you to be open to coaching. So having that coaching mindset, be willing to sort of be challenged to be to be um, to be held accountable throughout your six months. Taking action and earning results really important. We want to know what you want to get out of those next six months, and we want you to take action for it and be take responsibility to make it happen. We want a business owner to be committed to accelerate the business. We want you to think, you know what? Okay, this is exactly where I want this business to be in six months' time, but we want you to enjoy the journey as well. Give back. Um, because it's a community session, six months, um, we want you to be able to give back to the rest of the community and be a part of that community and provide feedback as well, whether it's positive um, or negative, we wanna make sure that we are improving the program continuously and providing impact data. This is the chime when you sit down with your enterprise acceleration manager and talk to them about really how the business has grown, what impact you've had over those that last month and we record all that information and then we do share that out to say what impact we are having on the businesses. These are the things that we do consider. We want the business owner to be the decision maker or the owner of the business um, to, to ensure that you're getting the best out of the program. It's really difficult if you're not a decision maker or an owner of the business because whatever we ask you to do or whatever we suggest you to do, it's always then a barrier because you then need to go and get permission from someone else so we want owners or decision makers in the um, app window in the application process working full-time um is is really key we want someone that's going to be committed in growing and scaling their existing enterprise if they're committed to do other work or running other businesses it can be a bit of a challenge um but we're always open to listen to where you are currently we want to make sure that you are have got traction in the business so you've already got you've you've created your mvp and you validated it because we want to make sure that you've got that product or service to grow employing staff not absolutely critical but if you're looking at growing and scaling we want you to be really motivated to say yep yeah, i aim to build my team and you're looking to grow and scale the business to the next level as well Coaching and, and being ready to learn and develop. Again, we spoke about that coaching element. We want you to have that mindset that you are coachable. And if your businesses are growing at this stage, we want you to be really committed to accelerating that growth, not to sort of sit there and say, I'm happy to plateau at this moment. But if you really want to take the businesses to the next level, then this accelerator program is ideal for you. So what you do next, and um, the window is open, you can apply through www.accelerator.natrest.com. Um, once you've made an application, um, we are conducting interviews throughout the whole of January and February. Um, our window closes on the 16th of February, um, and then there'll be a pause for about seven to 10 days while we're going through all the applications. We will then reach out to any applicant, all applicants by the end of Feb, to confirm whether they have secured a place on our next accelerator window, which starts week commence in the 12th of March. If you are looking at applying into London, um, our accelerator will start of that week, but it will be Tuesday the 13th, and Wednesday the 14th of March, and it will be a two day ignition. Uh, this is a chance for you to get to know all the other parts of your community, and there will be um, a, a welcome, uh, uh, what, all what comes with an initiation event and there will be a couple of um, uh, topics that we'll be covering off on the day but giving you a great insight to what the six months looks coming ahead
don't forget do sign up to the natwest.businessbuilder.com uh, uh, log in and do check out some of the natwest entrepreneur hub and the business builder portal that are highlighted earlier that concludes uh, the presentation um and yeah happy to take any questions from you uh anyone that has any questions on any of the content that i've shared today and i will stop my share Thank you very much, uh, Stuart. Any questions uh, for Stuart this, uh, today, please? Let's have a look around. Um, Neil. Hi, Stuart. Yeah, thanks very much. Um, my question is actually, I work in kind of experience design and help businesses kind of get commercial value from think about design and customer experience. Um, my interest was in your mentor program, actually. I've done some work do advisory for the PwC startup program. And I was just wondering how one could get involved and, and what the pathway to, you know, being visible and then having a discussion about getting onto that list. How would that? Yeah, no, absolutely. I've just dropped my email address in the, in the chat. If you, if you um, pop me an email with your areas of expertise, what we'll do is we'll connect you in with my colleague, Luke, because Luke manages a lot of the mentors and the partners and he brings them together. The other thing that you can do also is, um, and I'll pop you an email back, you can actually register as a mentor on the Digital Boost portal as well. So this is a, a portal that we signpost a lot of our entrepreneurs to if they're looking for areas of expertise in any sort of given field, they can reach into a, a mentor and connect with them, um, usually virtually, but you, potentially depending on where those men, uh, customers are. You can transfer them over to a face-to-face -face conversation um but yeah pop me pop me your details your expertise and i'll um i'll tee that up with my colleague luke brilliant thank you thanks for that neil uh jamie Stuart, thanks very much so much for this um i'm actually based in the east of england uh which we're we're, we're at arm's length for you guys it seems on the map but um but if if um this definitely sounds interesting to me. If I, for instance, wanted to sign up to to the London one, uh, what's the kind of expectation and how often you, you you want people to come in and do things face to face in in London? Because there's obviously a cost yeah. attached to that. Um, and I would stress that I'm coming from this with this question from a point of view is that I would want to do as much as possible, but understand how much that is. Yeah, no, absolutely. So just a um, couple of things then, uh, just just to remember that there are, that you get exactly the same through the face-to-face -face accelerator as the virtual accelerator. So we do have businesses that are quite a distance from wherever an accelerator is based. Um, and on the east side of England, as you saw the map, uh, closest ones in are almost like your Milton Keynes, uh, your London, um, and, and, and also on the coastal areas. The expectation, it's whatever you put into the accelerator is what is really what you're going to get out of the accelerator. Um, you're, if you are opting for a face-to-face -face accelerator, they are very, very keen in when you have your one-to-one -one, is that they actually do that on a one-to-one -one basis. So that does in, include obviously being physically present. Um, so your presence would mean that your accelerating one-to-one -one meetings will happen monthly. So that would be one committed visit. Um, some of our businesses that are slightly outside patch do come in, but they'll they'll build their day around that local area by meeting some clients and uh, and having a, a, a reason for coming in on that day rather than just coming for their one-to-one. -one. Hence the reason why the virtual accelerator works really, really well, because you would, you would be conducting that one-to-one -one on Zoom. Uh, which will be a lot easier and a lot more manageable for your time. But we appreciate the Accelerator does have a big impact if you are face to face because it's about the community and it's about building that support. You are still connected across the whole of the UK with all the other 12 accelerators if you are virtual, because virtual you can get quite quick, uh, a lot quicker than having it on a face to face basis. Face to face, you'll be looking at around sort of four, I'd say four, four days per month um is usually the 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 sort of minimum time that we ask because we were putting on uh those events as well throughout that monthly period plus you one-to-one -one, so around that four days um that we do see a lot of the entrepreneurs a lot more frequent than that because they may come and work from the co-working space in london so we might see them a lot more as i said it's the more you put in the more you get out but four days would be um a sort of a minimum requirement Thanks for that, Jamie. Uh, Stuart, 
um, I'm going to be eternally grateful to Catherine Ann um, for introducing me to you because I thought that was fantastic. You're going to open door policy with you guys um, and you're welcome back anytime.